Okay. Uh, good morning and welcome again sa ating video on preparation for the ICT Specialist Proficiency Examination. So this time what we'll discuss this morning is about the difference between the Diagnostic Examination and the ICT Proficiency Examination given by the DICT. So important po malaman natin anong pinagkaiba ng dalawang examination na ito. So again, the si DICT is giving two examinations. So the diagnostic examination and then the other one is ICT proficiency examination. So what's the difference when it comes to prerequisite? Uh, in taking diagnostic exam or ICT proficiency examination, it should be given to any uh, person, a Filipino citizen with a bachelor's degree course. Uh, on ICT proficiency exam, you cannot take the ICT proficiency ex examination unless you pass the, the diagnostic examination. So, and like in the diagnostic, there's no prerequisite except lang if you are graduating or uh, uh, already graduate of bachelor's degree in any course or somehow related to IT. But in ICT proficiency exam, dapat nakakuha pa at pasado ka sa diagnostic examination. So the assessment method, um, diagnostic exam is given in a written examination. This is good for two hours. While the uh, ICT proficiency examination, it's a hands-on. Six hours na hands-on po with computer. So ito, walang computer and diagnostic. Ito, may computer. So when it comes to registration fee, it's free for the diagnostic exam. By, while ICT proficiency exam for professionals, 500 pesos registration and then 300 pesos for graduating students. What to prepare for programming language? In taking diagnostic examination, that's a written. So you can have any foundation of any programming language, but having a foundation in C or C++ is an advantage because most of the program simulation or problem is written using C or C++ na code. Uh, in ICT proficiency exam, you select any of the following programming language. Either you choose C, C++, C Sharp, Java, or Visual.net or Visual Basic, and then a connectivity with MS Access. So you can just select any of these programming languages. So what to focus in diagnostic exam? You focus on the program simulation and logic formulation, for loop arrays, one-dimensional array, two-dimensional array. So yun yung panaka important part. While in, in ICT proficiency exam, you have to learn about data manipulation, string manipulation, file handling, and probably... Uh, object-oriented programming. If you are up to use Visual Basic or Visual.net, uh, you prepare CRUD or there should be something like adding, deleting, updating, uh, viewing of records. And then a given MS Access table or database, so it's up to you on how to connect that with your uh, Visual Basic. The passing score for diagnostic uh, written diagnostic exam is 25 points, while ICT proficiency examination is 70 points. Results are being released after one month for the diagnostic exam, and then ICT proficiency exam takes at least one to two months kasi nire-review pa nila isa-isa yung output. Kaano ba ka, ka, ka ano, ka katindi yung examination. Based on the records, you have here the di diagnostic exam for Region 6. Uh, out of 417 recent are only 20 passers sa diagnostic. And then, those who pass the diagnostic can take the ICT proficiency exam, so 9. So, kumuha, dalawa lang yung nakapasa. So, that's how ano, how hard the, the ICT proficiency exam and this diagnostic examination. That is why you really have to review and take focus on this when you are taking the examination para hindi po masayang ang pinag-review nyo or pinag-aralan. 
So, kaya hindi ito basta-basta po ang ICT proficiency examination compared to other assessment. So, there are different sets of problems given by, by the, the, the ICT. So, somehow kung nagkuha ka na before, do not expect that the same problem will be the, the one nga makuha mo kasi they, they have different sets. So, somehow baka ibang set naman ang makuha mo. So, hindi, hindi mo ma, masigurado. So, you really have to take practice and uh, learn deeply about programming if you want to pass this examination. So, I do hope that this video presentation helped you on preparing for both the diagnostic examination and then the ICT proficiency examination. So, good luck to your examination. See you in our next video presentation or tutorial about the preparation for these exams. Thank you.